Well, welcome back everybody, it's me, GSD, and I'm back again with some more Agatha Knife. Now, we gotta find some ceremonial robes. Uh, I know just where to go. Actually, you know what? It'd be faster to teleport. Hey, mister, please take me back to the butchers. Yep. There we go. Thanks, man. Let's get going. Let's get a move on. Mom, don't worry. We're almost there. Uh, actually, Stanley, my man, Lee. What's up? Hello. Stay where you were. This is Stanley's territory. Blah, 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 blah. I'll ask him about the. GD GDI tunic. Ah! I could use this jacket as a carnivalist habit. That stuff over there must be his. Let me ask for the jacket though. I'm looking for a jacket like the one you're wearing. That cat's cute. Well, keep looking. This one's mine. Uh, Jedi? The girl from the comic shop told me you gave her a tunic. No, she didn't. We're ahead of the game. Any chance you've got another one? The tunic with the hood? Nah. I only found one. Okay, well, let me see if I can get that one from the comic book lady. Let's go. That was easy. Hey. What do I have to do to get this too, Nick? According to the girl, that's a Jedi tunic. It's the dress worn by some characters from a famous movie. A tunic from the glass case would be useful. Give it to me. Hello, I've got a question. Tell me. How much is the tunic in the ca glass case? Sorry, but it's not for sale. That tunic is priceless. But what do you want it for? None of your business. Hmm. Would you exchange it for something else? There's only one thing I'd exchange for the Jedi tunic for. But I think it would be even harder to find. I don't even know if it exists. What is it? The Enigmarillion. The legendary book that contains all the answers to all the enigmas of cinema, comics, and video games. Does Cobb's totem topple during the credits of Inception? Who'd win in a fight to the death between Commander Shepard, Marcus Phoenix, and Master Chief? Uh, who would? I mean, he's the chief, right? What the hell does the ending of Evangelion mean? The legend says that the book answers all of those, and many other questions. I need it. Okay, and where can I find that book? If I knew that, you'd... If I knew that, don't you think I'd have gone and found it myself? Besides, like I told you, I don't even know if it really exists. Uh... I am stumped, I guess. We're, there's only one place where I know where there's books. Unless Stanley knows where... Is Stanley, do you got, like, uh, a booky book in there, maybe, around here? Your name is Stanley, right? What now? Nope. Nope. Well, is there anything in there? What are those things over there? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's get going. Now I gotta explode. I'm gonna ex... ex assume? <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's by the library. Oh, wait! Did I win? Could it be? Am I rich? The butcher shop is saved. What? No. I want to know if I won. Has the draw happened yet? Yes. The fat black cat has chosen the winning ticket. And did I win? Let me see. Hey. What? You won. Hey! Oh, yeah? Yes, yes! You bought the winning ticket, so the prize is for you. Cool. Cool. Is that it? You've not- you're not very excited. You've won loads of money! 
That's cool, isn't it? It's way more than cool. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Here's the prize from the flat, fat black cat draw. Have a great day. Thanks for taking part. I hope you enjoy the prize. Thanks. What did I win? Whoa! The prize I won for winning that lottery thing. Wait! Can I pay back the lady? Nah, 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 nah. I got... No, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all this moolah. This kashish. I don't really... Well, we gotta continue on with the adventure. Let's see if I can find this bookie book. I thought I was gonna troll me. I thought I was going to lose all my moolahs. But now I'm flush with cash. Who needs the butcher shop? I'm going to... To Cabo. I don't know. Where the hell do you go when you got a lot of cash? Hello? Is that the book? Can I ask you a question? Can you help me find something? Shit the fuck up. Yeah, I saw the sign already. I just want... Oh, wait, maybe... Let's see... Enigma Rallion. That's a good... I don't think they'll have the Enigma book here, but let's check. No way, they have it! Oh, I mean, that was easy. The Enigma Rallion... The Enigma Rallion is in the art aisle. Bookcase 2C. That would be harder to find. Well, you know what? Sometimes life doesn't give you lemons. Sometimes life gives you lemonade right off the bat. Okay, just go ahead, please. Thank you. 2C? Uh, we need it. No, we're in C. Go on, go on. Okay. Can I check this? Do see. I think Marillion should be in this bookcase. Oh, am I too far over? So move that over there. And check that bookcase. Give it to me. Thank you. Let's see. Nick Marillion. Nick Nick Marillion. Ah, this must be it. Hey. Where is it? Oh. Pretty boring if the cover is anything to go by. Okay. That's cool. Let's get out of here. Leave. Well, that, that was very easy, actually. <laughs> or maybe that brain is just kicking it into overdrive. I don't know yet. Damn it! Hey, I'd like to take out this book. Sorry, but do you have a book in your backpack? Yes. And do you have your library card? No. Okay. I need to inform you that to take books home from the library, you'll need a library card. You don't have one, but that's not a problem. It'll only take a moment to do one for you. I'll just need you to bring me some photo IDs. Once I have the photos, I can issue with... I can issue you with a library card, and you can take as many books as you'd like. Other than those that are excluded from loan, obviously. Mm. So I can't take any books out until I have a library card? That's correct. In any case, once you have your card, you'll need to come to the desk each time you'd like to borrow a different book. I'll need to introduce the information into the system so that the loan is properly recorded. That's crappy, but okay, I guess. Wonderful. Bring me your photos and I'll gladly issue you with a library card, okay? Before you leave, please leave the book you wish to take out in the card just here next to the desk. Thank you, and apologies for any inconvenience. That woman sounds like a robot. Uh, put the book away. Blame. Let's get this stupid picture and get my dang library card. Give me my picture. I got cash. You need to put money in first. Hey, we good. Case full of money. Actually, I'm kind of curious what my mama would say if I give her the case of money. Hey, mom. Uh, the the butcher shop. We be saved. Here you go. When I finish creating carnivorism, we'll have customers again. 
So I want to keep the money in case I need it. Oh. Mom, you didn't see anything. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> uh, let's put this cash inside the, the box. I suppose I could use these photos for a library card. Yeah, you definitely could. ID photos I took earlier. Great! Let's get back all the way back. Okay, lady. I got the pictures. Please give me a library card. I've got the photos. Will you make me a library card so I can take books out? Of course. Before I make your library card, I'll need your given name and surname. Could you please tell me what they are? Agatha Knife. Thank you very much. If you'd wait a moment, please. <laughs> very good. Here's your library card. Thanks, lady. Does that mean I can take out a, any book? Yes, now you can take out any book you like. Other than those which are excluded from being taken out, of course. In any case, remember that you need to come by the desk each time you'd like to take a new book out. As I need to introduce the details into the system. And for the loan to be correctly registered in the system. Okay. If you need help with anything else, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for forming part of the library's readership. I hope you enjoy your books. Our books. Okay, let's enjoy the book, like the lady said. Well, give me that book. I got license to read achievement. I'd like to take this book out. I want to take a book out from the library. Now you have a library card. There's no problem. I think really in, in, in. I'll take this one. Excellent. Pass it to me for a moment, would you? Here you go. I need your library card to process the loan. There you go. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment while I register the loan. Perfect. Now you can take a Nigma home. Cool. I'd like to take this opportunity to inform you that the book needs to be back within seven days. If you don't bring it back within that period, your library card will be blocked. In addition, and with immediate effect, a claim will be placed with the World Culture and Education Organization to request that you never be accepted to any educational facility or university in the world? <laughs> any questions? Isn't that a bit excessive? No, it's a standard regulation for the associated infraction. Any other questions? No, can I take the Enigma Lillian William now? Of course, here you are. Give it to me. Thank you for forming part of the library's readership. I hope you enjoy Enigma Merlin and, and, and... Maybe... I don't care about that seven day regulation or the university thing. I've already decided that once I finish school, that's it. No more education. That way I can be surrounded by animals and meet all day long, which is what I like. Eh, maybe just in case we'll copy that book up and take a copy just so that we don't, you know... Yeah, yeah. This. Good stuff, now we can use it. Put the book in. Bam. I don't like reading. Why would I want a photocopy of the book? Okay, maybe we don't copy the book. Stop slapping yourself. Uh, maybe we just keep going and continue on with the adventure. Inventure? I'm not even gonna correct myself, you know what I mean. Mom, I said please don't look at me like that. Anyway, lady, I got the book. You wanna make a trade? Take this. It's... it might be yours. I found the Enigma alien. Ian. Seriously? Yes, look. Why are you giving it back to me? Don't you want it anymore? That book isn't the Enigma alien. What do you mean? 
I don't do business with people that try to con me. Hey, I'm not trying to con you. Oh, really? So why are you giving me a blank book and trying to tell me it's Enigma really in and then? Then. It's got nothing written in it. Nothing. Didn't you open it before giving it to me? I don't think so. Well, just so you know, this book isn't the real Enigma really in. So if you want that Jedi tunic, you'll have to keep searching. I can't believe that book is fake. WHERE THE HELL IS THE BOOK?! Hey! Where's the book? Get out of here. Keep your notes clean. Both of you. Now I gotta find this book. That I worked so hard to get a library card. Spent my hard earned lottery money on. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Where the hell am I gonna find this book? Maybe she'll have it. Maybe she definitely will have it. She will have it. I have a feeling the guy that was making photocopies stole it. Kettle. Lady! Hi. Hello, how are you? What can I do for you? Maybe he's got something I could use as a habit. Everything is- uh, I'm not gonna say that when I wanna use something as a habit. <laughs> I see you've got lots of colorful dresses and that sort of thing. But I need something like a dressing gown or a robe. Like a long coat, you know? Can't be too thick. I don't want it to be hot. I don't want to be hot in it. Have you got something I could use? All I have are one-piece dresses like the ones you see here. But if you bring me a garment which I can adjust, I can make it look like the robe you need. Ah, now we're getting, now we're getting in there. So maybe the habit's too big, we bring it to her, she fixes it. Okay, lady, keep doing what you're doing, I'll be back. Hey, mister, do you want an enigma? You should try something else. Do you, hello, hello. Dog, meat, burger. I'm out of here. Let's go inside, maybe somebody's in here that I will. Hey, you're new? What's up? I'm trying to talk to you. Oh. You want something? You're eating a dog. What do you mean? Like I said, you're eating a dog. That burger is made from dog meat. Uh, I didn't know dog meat tasted so good. Are you the cook? No, I'm the town butcher and I refuse to believe that burger tastes good. I'm telling you, it tastes great. Do you want a bite? No, thank you. But if you keep eating, you'll end up like that guy at the back. I'll take my chances. He died from eating one of these burgers. Aren't you afraid? Nah. In my club, we don't worry about that sort of thing. He said something about a club. Maybe I could use his leather jacket as a habit for carnivorism. No, we know we, we don't need to do that. We need to... What is this club you speak of? I've got a biker's club. The grandchildren of antipathy. And every day three members die. So we're used to seeing things like what just happened to that guy. Oh, you're like Sons of Anarchy. I get it. Jix, you like Jix. Do you, do they die because they eat dog burgers? Nah, nah. They die because dog eat dodgy stuff happens in the club. And then one member starts fighting with another member, and things get real quick. This morning, for example, one of them forgot to iron the leather jackets. And that's not cool, because they get so creased that you can't see the logo in properly. So one member got angry, pulled out his gun, and shot the other one. That's just how it is. And couldn't you have forgiven him for forgetting to iron them? Nah. It's easier just to kill. Aren't you scared you'll do something wrong one day and one of the other members will kill you? When you're part of the grandchildren of Antipathy, there's no place for fear. Besides, the club is the most important thing for us, and we join willing to sacrifice everything. Sounds like a religion. 
Do you have a god, a sacred book, and that sort of thing? Now that you mention it, we do have something similar. For many of us, my great-grandfather is like a god. He left his ideas for us in a manuscript. And now we're following his advice to try and make our club the best in the world. Did your great grand did your great grandfather write the ma in the manuscript that you had to kill the one who forgot to do the ironing? No. That's in an appendix my dad added a few years ago. Later. The jacket he's wearing must be the club habit. Is that jacket you've got on the habit for your club religion? You could say that, because we all wear them. To show our commitment to the grandchildren of antipathy. I've got things to do. I'll leave you with your dog burger. I'm telling you, it tastes amazing. Anyway, until next time. See you later, Jix. Hello. Hello. Still sells crappy ass burgers. So, okay, I need to get on with my thing. Let's get out of here. Okay, lady, I'm done with this. Sh I don't need to give it to her again. My loan is already registered in the system, like she said. Okay, well. Where? Do you have. You reading it? He doesn't look very smart. This kid looks mighty suspicious. Mighty suspicious. Hey, kid. You want this book? Nah. Okay. So we got it from the arts aisle. Enter. Nope. I need to figure out where to find whoever took this book. Maybe the developer is reading the actual one. Are you... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! He... He's gone! Uh... Where did you go? Nika's aunt. Give me the book. Hey, Auntie Allen. Hello, Agatha. Ooh, the lady doesn't leave the barn. Maybe she'll forget about our dad. Barn has some cables and weird equipment. What are the cables and other machines in the bar for? What do you say about the cables? What the hell are they for? Ah, uh, it's for the new... It's for the renewable energy management system that my niece put in for me. With these machines, I can use the energy from the water... From water and the sun and convert it into electricity. Now let her keep getting on with her painting. Even though she's been at it for a while. When are you going to sow seeds in the vegetable patch? What? Ah, uh, when am I going to sow seeds? Why did you ask that? Well, whatever. I'll go when I'm finished painting this. How about we forget about that money we owe, huh? In that case, I wouldn't be able to pay for the upkeep of the farm and the animals won't die of hunger. Can't let that happen, so... I'm not gonna send you any more money until you pay me everything you owe me. Okay, well, hey, you know... I'm still not sure how the electricity works. Did you say that those machines make electricity from sun and water? Yes, there are solar panels on the roof of the barn that collect light from the sun and turn it into electric energy. That's nearly always enough, but if not, I open the water reservoir and get electricity from the water mill. Let me get lit. Hey, I am a, a knife and we always pay our debts. Yeah. I've convinced the animals to come to the sanctuary, so I want to keep the money in case I need it. Guys, do you know where this friggin' book is? Where the hell is this book? I mean, there's an empty spot on the shelf. What happens if I just put it on that shelf? Do something. Not doing anything. Books, man. Books. Books. Cart. That's where you leave the books. Bye. Okay. Bam. Okay, let's keep going.
Is this a puzzle? Do I have to put the Necronomicon along along ding dang dong somewhere on here? She's looking at it for a while. So if I take it... And... Put that back. Oh no, she just leaves it there. What the frick am I supposed to do with this book? I'm looking at the edges here. I'm like... On my wit's end right now. Just give you that. Because it's got the symbol in the middle. I'm hoping that they added this so that I'm not going crazy. Please. Okay. I got you. You got top left corner, you go right there. You got bomb right corner, you go right there. Uh, you got a middle. You go right there. Uh, you got a left. You go right there. Right there. Uh, I'm just digging around. I really don't know what I'm doing. I think this is gonna do it. You know what? I got a good feeling about this. This is some super random shit. Let's do it! Nah, it didn't do anything. Necronomicon. For the book to be of use to me, it needs to contain all the solutions to all the geeky mysteries written in it. I think there's a con, there's nothing written in it. How do I get it to do that? Put it there, nothing to take. Do your thing, man! Or do they need to be pointing at the book? Let's try that again. Maybe I have it backwards. Let's see here. Maybe everything needs to point towards the book. I think these are fine. I think the edges were wrong. Okay, you there. You there. Everything needs to point to the book. I didn't need to move this. You go there. You go there. And you go there. Give it to- Oh my god, this is doing- Oh my god! You don't know how long I've been <laughs> been trying to figure out what to do with this book. I can't believe it. Damn GSD. Listen. Listen, peeps. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. All the sparks. It was just like lightning. I got the book of books. Give it to me. Look at that. Now, now I feel really good about myself. I was, what was the timestamp on this? This is like an hour and three minutes right now. Killing this puzzle shit. Get going. We got books to return. Uh, yeah, we might as well run all the way back. Run home. Run home, Agatha. All right. Feeling good. Feeling great. Still haven't used any of Sandro's card thingies for hints. Now it's all f now it's full of writing. Magic, I guess. Yeah. Now, that's some self-satisfaction right there. Lady, listen, I got the real deal. This time I have it. The true Enigma in then Yeah, whatever. I mean it, look. Give it to me. Well damn. What? Is it the real Enigma Rillian or not? Without a doubt. It's like the legend says. These pages are filled with solved mysteries. Cool, so you'll give me the tunic? It says here that Finn's sword is more powerful than Enduriel and He-Man's power sword combined? Are you going to give me my tunic or what? Ah uh, yes, oh, of course, sorry. Give it to me. Don't you have one in a smaller size? No, I already told you there aren't any other tunics like this one. I'll have to cut some of... I'll have to cut some off of this one then. Oh my god. What did you just say? I'm gonna adjust the freaky tunic so that it fits me. Actually, do you know how to sew? You're joking, right? That tunic is a unique piece, a collector's item. If you damage it, it will lose all its value. The tunic's mine now, so I can do with what I want 
what I like with it, how I like with it, when I like to do it. It's just that it's an original Jedi tunic. I get it, but you've got your Enigmarillion now. Yes, but you don't understand what it is that you're saying. There are people that would give their right arm to have that tunic in their house. Whoa, you're annoying. Okay, I won't do anything to the tunic. Do you promise? Yeah. Really? Yes, really. Thanks. I lied. I lied. Yeah, damn right we did! Get out of here. We know where to go. To get this thing done. Let's get this tunic all sewn up. I got money to spend. Pigs and lambs and, and chickens and bunnies to rent. Oh, I saved it. Uh, lady, can you and your cool ass hair and your questionable fashion sense please mend this up for me, please? Here you go. I've got a tunic, but it's far too big for me. Could you make it smaller? Of course, but you'll need to pay up front. Money. Would you take something f other than money in exchange? Sorry, I don't do exchanges. Actually, do you know... Actually, do you know what? If you bring me one of those burgers, I'll do the adjustment you need for free. You want a burger? Yes, but it has to be from the burger place across the street. They've got the best burgers I've ever tried. But you know those burgers are made from dog meat, right? What? The burger bar uses meat from abandoned dogs and cats? It was the vet who sold the meat to the burger restaurant. Ah, and he sold it to the supermarket where everyone buys their meat too. That's why the meat was so cheap because it was bad quality. But don't worry, it's all sorted now. Soon they'll be changing the burger recipe to use good quality meat. Bah! I don't care if the meat is from a dog or a cow. I like the taste of the burgers they've got now. That rhymed. So if you want me to adjust something for you, you'll bring me a dog meat burger. Either that, or you pay me with money. I got money. I'll come back later. I'll be back later. Okay, see you later. Do I pay the money, or do I... I need that money though, like, come on, you're gonna make me spend money on this shit? It's a friggin' dog meat burger. Do I give up my morals? For the greater good? Maybe. We'll see. Hey lady, I need a dog meat burger. Stop eating that. Hey. Hey. Yes, what's up? I need a dog burger. She still sells crappy burgers. Over there at the back, there's a man that died. <sighs> Do I pay with money? You know what? Stick to the plan. We're gonna pay with money. I got money. I'm flush with cash. What's a little semming? Semming? Sewing job. Sewing hemming job. That's what I was thinking when I came up with semming. What's a little semming job? Huh? You get, it's just gonna be a couple bucks. I got plenty of a couple of bucks. Lady, I got money. No problem, but I need you to pay first. I got money. I have some money here somewhere. Ah, good. How much do you have? Billions. Millions. But what's the little girl doing with a case full of cash? Actually, I don't want to know. I'll take enough to cover the repair and give you back the rest. Give me the garment that you want adjusted. What do you want me to do with this tunic? It's too big for me. I need you to adjust it so it fits me. Very good. Give me a minute. Snip, snip. Ready? Here you go. Ready. Ah, and just in case I forget, here's your case. I've taken what I need for payment for the adjustment. Thanks. No problem. It'll look great now I've adjusted it. Let's see. I got a little tunic. I still got plenty of kishishishish. 
Now it's my size. Maybe I could use it as a as my carnivorous habit. Finally! Put it on! I mean, we'll do that next time, I guess, on Agatha Knife. So thank you, everybody. My brain hurts, uh, but I'm very happy that I came up with that. It feels good. I don't want to use Sandro's quartz. We, I don't think I used any hints on the last game. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might have taken a swig or two last time. This time, we're trying to keep it clean. Let's keep our sh keep our nose out of trouble. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back again with some more Agatha Knife.